Hey there gamers, today I'd like to show you some software called Parsec. Parsec allows you to stream from a desktop PC or gaming laptop to another device of your choice. In this case, I'll be using my Lenovo Legion Go. You can actually do the exact same process for the ROG Ally. Um, and there's a slightly more convoluted process to get this working on the Steam Deck. I'll probably do a separate video on how to install on the Steam Deck. Because it's so straightforward, I'm not actually going to show the installation process. Um, what I will show is, um, if we go to pricing, you might think that you have to pay, because it's saying for individuals and teams and that there's money involved. But if you scroll down, because we're only interested in this for personal use and we're not using multiple monitors for streaming and various other things we can use this for free so if we just click on try it out now and it will take you to this screen where if you have an account you can log in but I'm presuming you don't in which case you would provide your email address and a unique username to be uh, used within the software and then you would click next. It will then take you to an option to download for 64-bit Windows. So if you click on that, it'll download a file. And then if you click on the downloaded file in your downloads folder, it'll then begin the installation process. In the installation process, there's two questions. One is asking if you want to install it per user or for everybody on the machine. Just tick per user. Um, there is really only one on the Legion Go unless you've set up extra ones. And the second question uh, is around, or an option is to tick for a virtual display driver. Now, I didn't install that, but essentially if you wanted to stream games from a PC but not have those games showing on the, on the monitor of the PC that's doing the streaming, you would install that um, virtual display driver. I didn't bother. So once you've installed the software, what, what I should say is you need to install the software on the device you're going to stream from and on the device you're going to stream to. So I've done that. I've installed it on my gaming laptop and I've installed it on the Legion Go. So let's fire up Parsec. And as you can see, it's detected the two computers that I've got under this account. Um, most of the settings I've not really messed with. You have options to the, the settings here and you can change the settings for when you're acting as the client, so on this device, or when you're acting as the host, which would be on my gaming laptop. And I kind of, the only setting I've tweaked is maybe the megabytes per, uh, megabits per second. Um, I've set that to 30 and also the other one is I, I kind of fix the frames per second that it's going to stream at to 60 uh, as I don't want to I don't want to flood the network with traffic and potentially degrade the quality so if I go back to here I can now connect to my laptop just by clicking this connect button so let's give it a few seconds to realize that and here we're in Steam and I'm trying to think um, so one of the issues with what I'm going to show you is that in my home office, the network is patchy. Um, it's a new, uh, it's a new broadband provider, and for some reason, when I come upstairs into my office, the speed degrades massively. Um, so normally, when I'm actually playing the games, I'm downstairs with my Legion Go, and it, it works flawlessly. So bear that in mind when you see bad network signal. Um, it's not like that for me, and it may not be like that for you. So let's start up. The other thing I know is going to happen is that people are going to ask, OK, Muppet, why don't you just play the game on your gaming laptop? And to answer that, I spend all day in my home office. Um, working at a computer and I don't want to spend another couple of hours at the end of the day playing in my home office so I like to take the Legion Go downstairs and play on that 
I know technically I could take my laptop down, but I'm going to have to take the power supply and an external controller or play on keyboard and mouse, and it's just a bit too clunky to do all that, so I may as well use Legion and Go. The other reason I would use this Parsec streaming software is because out of the box I can connect to my gaming PC from outside the home Wi-Fi. I don't need to be connected to my home Wi-Fi. I can be connected to Wi-Fi elsewhere in the, in the world or in the country. Or I can hotspot from my phone using the 5G network and connect and stream games to my Legion Go from anywhere, essentially. So that's two advantages. Um, I was previously using um, Moonlight to perform the same function. But for me to be able to access it from outside my home, I would have needed to do various things like port forwarding on my router, which I wasn't too comfortable with potentially opening, opening up the security on my uh, router to bad actors. So, you can see here, every time this little yellow symbol comes up, that's it experiencing bad network traffic. So, you'll also see it degrades the, the, the quality, but... I don't normally have this outside of my, my office, as, uh, as I stated earlier. Okay, so let's go into the game. Okay, so let's show the settings, just to prove I'm not running this locally. I'm sure you trust me, but... Um, just in case there's any cynical people out there. So, we're running at 1920 by 1080 and FSR2 quality. We've got NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency on. Um, is that only available on NVIDIA GPUs? Probably, I would think. And down here we can see that the device that's detected here is the GeForce RTX 3070 uh, laptop GPU, not the Radeon AMD from the Legion Go. And nothing much more to show other than we're running at medium across the board, which is the recommended setting for my laptop's graphics card. What else can I show you? Well, let's put a frame monitor on. And I shall also, yes, so I shall also point out that we're at 82% battery life at the top left of the screen. And it, it estimates that with the battery level we've got left and the TDP power it's drawing, um, that it would last us 4 hours 38 minutes. And that's because if I pop this back up, you'll see that I've set the thermal mode to quiet and that's a, a 10 watt TDP. I have played games on the ROG Ally, which should perform in a similar fashion to this, with around 7 watts TDP. So, unfortunately, custom TDP isn't working properly on the Legion Go as yet. I do have a workaround for that, but I'll just stick with 10 watts for now. But as you can see, I could play Harry Potter completely unplugged for over 4 hours. There we go. So what I love about streaming the game is that um, my laptop goes through the process of caching shaders. So we're not seeing the occasional micro stutters that we see on, on the Legion Go when it's playing natively. And also, taking this, uh, this game out of the equation, I've successfully been able to play Avatar um, Frontiers of Pandera on the Legion Go perfectly using this software, rather than the, the poor experience it is running natively.
So it was just a quick video to show you the capabilities of this software and hopefully if you can see the use case for yourself I would definitely recommend giving it a try. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.